All right, guys, welcome back for another Detroit Become Human. This should be episode number nine. Luther, a very uh, unexpected friend that we just made, right? Well, that's cool. So, tells us the temperature, weather. It's quite cold outside, as you can see. Cars charged. The engine status on. It's on autopilot, maybe? Yep. This is insane. Is this a Tesla? Very nice, Luther. Car. Destination. Distance. These people we're going to see. How do you know about them? Overheard androids not go captured. They said they were humans helping androids across the border. What if it was a lie? Or just another trap? All I know is those androids believed it. Until Zlatko killed them. Hmm. Alice, you okay? So, distance, weather... Is it much farther? We should arrive in an hour or so. Okay. Gotta be careful with you, man. I know you kind of helped us out there last minute, but you're a little scary. The car. It's a good thing Zlatko had a car. I wouldn't want Alice out walking in this cold. I saw it once in the garage. I don't know if Zlatko even ever used it. It's kind of crazy, man. Emergency brakes activated. These freaking robots are just... They're way too smart. It freaks me out. This doesn't look good. Whoa. <laughs> That's awesome. Stay inside, Alice. Inspect the car engine. All right, well, our, our, our car broke down. So here we go. Hold on, I gotta change the controllers again. Jesus. All right, so let's open up the hood. The hood. The Good. Yeah, Luther, let the woman take care of the engine, right? While you just stand there. What else do we have? Find shelter. Oh, we're gonna have to stay overnight. Oh. I don't know. Continue on foot, I guess. No. Degrees. Alice won't make it. We have to find somewhere to spend the night. Can we just stay inside the car? Stay around here, Carol. Okay, let me see. I'm trying to see if I can pick up uh maybe if I can open up Alice's door and tell her, yo, Alice. We gotta get the hell out of here. Alright, I'll just go over there. Let's go this way. I saw the arrow from the beginning, I just didn't know we were actually gonna have to go here. But here we go. I thought I'd maybe have to carry Alice before moving forward. Pirate's Cove. Hmm. Interesting. Over there. here like nothing Ooh, this does not look good man of course this was some type of a amusement park we need to find shelter check abandoned buildings cold. Holy looks like it's been abandoned for a while okie dokie smoky this is not creepy at all don't worry about me Kara and Alice have the most freaking depressing life that an android and a human being could ask for. Find anything? No. Not much structure on no safe. Place we could spend the night. Okay, we'll just keep on checking. Of course, they're gonna make us check these places, but they're not gonna be suitable for what we need them. But we're gonna check them anyways. Too windy for Alice. 
probably gonna be one of the creepiest places that that's gonna be you know suitable for us the place that we least don't want to go to is the place that what the fuck is that turn on always comes when least expected oh for the love of god of course god damn it okay i'm gonna go check this robot out don't like this robot just sitting here man hey dude Welcome to Pirate Island, me hearties. You're gonna have a whale of a time. Welcome to Pirate Island, me hearties. You're gonna have a whale of a time. <laughs> Dude, that is so crazy. Okay, here we go. Sweep this. Now here we have a map, which... Probably allow us to see better, right? Eh? So this is the, uh, I don't even know where we are right now. This is the entrance. We are here. So. Okay, is there anything interesting? There seems to be a pirate ship over here, a roller coaster. Okay, so let's, let's just go this way. I don't think anything interesting is going to be in this part of the amusement park. But I think moving forward, we might find something suitable for us. Look at this. That's very nice. Just a hanging skeleton above my head. As if it was something just it's absolutely normal. <clears throat> it's not going to be easy to find shelter. Okay. Here we go. Could this be it? This looks better than any place we've seen so far. Let's see. Looks safe inside. It looks safe inside. You know what? I'm not even scared. We have Luther. Luther. He doesn't care, man. Okay, so enter abandoned store. Found an abandoned store. Should we enter the abandoned store just yet? All right, let me see what can we do here. Anything else? Okay. We're gonna go to the store. Fuck it. It's getting cold outside. Let's just go in here. Luther will take care of the rest. <laughs> Let's see how strong Luther is. Alright, right, he's very strong. You see, Alice? Kara, you shouldn't be scared. Jesus Christ. Here we go. Find anything better. Let's settle in for the night. I'll get a fire going. I'd be crapping myself, even if I was Alice. Like, settle for the night. Make a bed for Alice. Check Luther's bag. I'd be crapping myself. I don't want to read this right now. I mean, if, if you're Alice, you gotta think, I'm here with freaking androids, man. You know? So let's uh let's start working here. This is, I mean, we could look over there, see if we find anything. Nothing. Okay. RA9 all over again. What the hell is RA9? Pirate's Cove. It's basically. Uh, one of those promotional pictures. Fire here. That way we won't be smoked out. 
All right, sounds good. Take this. I'm assuming we gotta take these things to make Alice's bed. So, makes complete sense. I'm not scared what so fucking ever. Very spooky. I'm telling you, these games that you don't have like super, super duper flexible movement, they are freaky, man. Check Luther's bag. Where's, hold on, where's Luther's bag? I want to see, where do he leave his bag? Hmm. Okay. I don't know if I have to check the bag afterwards. Could this be the bag? No, not here. Yo, Luther. Okay, I can't even find his bag. I guess I'll just set it up right here. Set up Alice's bed. Alice? Here's his bag. Check gun. Should we check the gun? Hmm. He's probably not gonna trust us now. God. What the fuck? That's weird. Why does he have a gun? Do you think we'll be like them someday? Once we cross the border, we can start over. You can go to school. Maybe I'll find a job. We'll be like them. Like everyone else. As long as we're together, that's all that matters. <laughs> Come on. Let's get you to bed. Talk Alice in. Reassure, kiss, tomorrow. Don't worry. Luther and I will be right here. You need to get some sleep now. Can you tell me a story, Kara? I have 9,000 children's stories in memory. I should have one for you. Princess, unicorn, princess. This is a story about a princess who... No, not a story like that. Oh. Make one up for me. Okay. Um. This is a story about a little girl. who was tired of being afraid. She dreamed of being like all the other little girls, but... Hmm. The shadow that lived within her kept her from being happy. Then, she met a robot. wasn't very happy either so they decided to run away together to try to find a better life they encountered great dangers along the way but but they stuck together so they overcame all of them along the way they met Giants. A gentle giant who promised to protect them. How does the story end? Hmm. Happy ending. They 
reach the place they dream of and live happily ever after. Stories always have happy endings, but real life isn't like that. Time to sleep. We have another long day ahead of us tomorrow. Are you going to come say goodnight, Luther? Yes. Yes, of course. Talk to Luther. Okay. I'll speak to Luther then. This big ass freaking giant. She's a sweet girl. Yes. She's very brave. Alright, so snow plans. Plans. Do you know what you're going to do when you reach Canada? I haven't really thought about it. I've never been free before. Free. <laughs> I like the sound of it. But I don't know what it really means yet. Do you remember anything from your life? Before Zlatko? No. My model was designed to carry heavy loads. I might have been a longshoreman or a laborer. Who I was doesn't matter anymore. It wasn't really me. Kara, have you ever noticed anything about Alice? Hmm. No, I mean... No, what are you talking about? Oh... Ah! What the fuck? Alright, protect Alice. Grab the gun. Protect Alice. He can probably grab the gun. Oh God! Question. Who are you? What do you want? Leave us alone. Don't be afraid. We don't want to hurt you. What? We're just like you. Our name is Jerry. We were working here before the park closed. I didn't mean to frighten you, but sometimes humans come to hurt us, so we wanted to see who was there. <coughs> what are you doing here? We were looking for shelter for the night. We'll be gone tomorrow. A little girl. We haven't seen one for a long time. Oh, Children okay. used to love to come and see us. She looks sad. The last few days have been difficult. We have something to show her. Something fun. She'll love it. Does she want to see? Oh, I don't think she's in... She should follow us then. Alice, I don't know if it's a good Come idea. On, Kara. Oh my god. I don't think you have any choice. Well, I guess we'll go with Luther. I didn't hear that we need to take. That was kind of creepy, dude. Probably gonna write the ponies. Right? Is that what it is? Be our guest. Jerry's joined. Reactivate cursor. Okay. So it's working. Oh, that's cool. Okay. The 
the little one can climb on board. The carousel is about to begin. Carousel, hey, Alice. Okay. Well, remember that pirate that said danger is around the corner when you least expect it? I don't know, but I'm still a little bit frightened about these Jerry's. I thought it was cold outside. Well, she's probably never experienced this. That's awesome. It's the first time I've seen her smile. She hasn't had much to smile about lately. Well, that's nice. I, I thought that was gonna go down south. Like I thought something horrible was gonna happen, and um, turned out that it it was all right. It was all right. All right, guys, let's continue here. Went on forward, on to the next one. November seventh, twenty thirty-eight. Hank, he's a friend. Get out. All right, Hank. Are you thinking about committing suicide again? Hmm, this is interesting. So there's something there. I want to make sure there's nothing behind me. All right, let's collect this first. And then we'll go talk to Hank. So it's probably going to be a magazine or something. Right? Yeah, the mysterious Master Cam uh, Kamsky. Page one. What happened to the man of the century? The mysterious Mr. Kamsky. Uh, when he commercially part of the treasure cheap attracting. Okay. I want to see the next article. Next article, sir? Markets predict war. Probably cyber life and human war. That's probably why they predict. I don't want to read the magazines too often. I've read some of them, but I don't want to spend too much time reading the magazines. Even though sometimes they do have things that correlate with the story. But I want to see what happens here. Nice view, huh? I used to come here a lot before. Personal question, stop drinking. Personal question. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Do all androids ask so many personal questions, or is it just you? Hmm. I saw a photo of a child on your kitchen table. Oh, fuck. It was your son, right? Yeah. His name was Cole. Damn. Before? Before what? Hmm? You said... I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Before... Before nothing. We're not making any progress on this investigation. The Deviants have nothing in common. They're all different models, produced at different times, in different places. Well, there must be some link. I wanted to ask him about the frickin' suicide, but... What they have in common is this obsession with RA-9. It's almost like some kind of myth. Something they invented that wasn't part of their original program. Androids believing in God. 
Fuck, what's this world coming to? You seem preoccupied, Lieutenant. Is it something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? Those two girls... They just wanted to be together. They really seemed... in love. They didn't want anything. They're deviants. End of story. What about you, Connor? You look human. You sound human. But what are you really? Cold, aggressive. Defensive. Cold. Hmm. I'm a machine designed to accomplish a task. You could have shot those two girls, but you didn't. Uh -oh. Why didn't you shoot Connor? Some scruple suddenly enter into your program? Uh oh. Truth. No. I just decided not to shoot. That's all. Just come back as if nothing happened. But are you afraid to die, Connor? Not alive. Logical. I would certainly find it regrettable to be interrupted before I can finish this investigation. What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Hmm? Nothing? Oblivion? Android heaven? Hmm. Thanks, anger. Ironic, Duffy. Where does all your anger come from, Lieutenant? Some unresolved trauma in your past? You think you're so fucking smart. <laughs> Always one step ahead, huh? Tell me this, smartass. How do I know you're not a deviant? I self-test regularly. I know what I am and what I am not. Path unlocked. Where are you going? To get drunker. I need to think. Hmm. Path unlocked. That was interesting. Ah, oh, man. Hank is uh placated. All right. Hank left Connor alone. What was the other path? I wonder what the other path was. Alright, so here we are. November 17th, uh, 7th, 2038. Probably playing as, yep, Marcus. We are respected in Jericho. that android oh my god Marcus calm down man don't do anything stupid north neutral Josh neutral so we're basically we're praying all of them Simon, Simon friend anymore it's time humans heard what we had to say you know they'll never listen to us Revealing ourselves will put us in danger. If we want freedom, we need to have the courage to ask for it. That's the only way. Hmm. What do you want to do? November Channel 16 8th. broadcast from the Stratford Tower. The control room is on the top floor. That's where we need to go. Okay. We are in a mission. And the mission starts now. We are going to broadcast ourselves worldwide. <laughs> I mean, this guy doesn't look like a robot because he doesn't have the LED. But I think the robots can understand. We'll plan the operation down to the smallest detail. We can't leave anything to change. That he's a robot. 
Quest access at reception. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. This guy's always dressed up like a pimp, bro. Damn. This guy's got swagger. Hello, sir. What can I do for you? I'm okay. Thanks. Distract human supervisor. Okay. So, here we go. Picture of her daughter. Wilson Emily. Um, her name is... Okay, that's parking badge. Okay. What do we have here? Water service interruption. Home address. That's the home address. Michigan Street, Detroit. 4685. She has a smartwatch. And her name is Elizabeth Wilson. Okay, we're calling her now. Elizabeth Wilson speaking. Hmm. Parking, school, fire department, school. This is Safe Road School, ma'am. Your daughter Emily has a fever. It's nothing serious, but I think you'd better come and pick her up. <sighs> oh, no. All right. Oh, I'll be right there. Nice. Very nice. Humans were distracted. I have an appointment with Mr. Peterson. Do you have any ID? Y uh, yes, yes, of course. Okay, ID. I need your help. <gasps> Dude, that's crazy. They can just. I just checked your ID. The elevators are after the security gate. Oh my god! Thanks. Yeah, they basically just communicate with one another like that. It's kind of crazy. Wait. Pass the security. Alright. Pass the security. Use the elevator. Is there anything else here that we can use? No. Okay, I wanted to make sure there's, there's basically nothing. What is this? Okay, so what did... Okay. It's just a fucking... TV screen. Oh, look. Here we go. Here are the elevators. I thought that was going to be some type of clue. A lot of the times the game makes you look at certain things, but they're not necessarily clues. <clears throat> I mean, maybe they are. Maybe they're hidden messages. Some of them I catch on to. Some of them I don't. So. Going to the 47th floor. <clears throat> 44. We are here. Find a package in men's bathroom. Okay, men's bathroom is to the right or to the left? Hmm, let's see. Studio, newsroom, bathroom. Maintenance bathroom over here. Going to the left. Cafeteria is here. The bathroom is... Where is the bathroom? Where is the bathroom? Okay. We're going to continue here. There's the news reporter. Ready to give his news. All the channels live and being broadcasted. What the hell is this? Okay, can we pick this up? See, sometimes they just make you look at stuff like it's weird. Okay, so studio, studio. Nothing else in here. The bathroom, I think it's right to the right. Alright. It's a very, very fancy building we got here. Look at this. Another robot taking a man's job. Get out the way. Okay, this is the bathroom we're supposed to be in. There's gonna be a package in here. Wow, these bathrooms are freaking amazing. Holy crap. Look at this. That is me, Marcus. I am very, very sexy. I got blue and green eyes. The best of both worlds. I'm super jealous, by the way. Alright. Retrieve the package? Question is, how did the package get here? I yet still have to find out. Alright, exit. <gasps> Whoa. What? 
Why would you want to basically dress yourself as an android again? Okay. Maybe we have different access to different portions of the uh, of the building. Here we go. Alright, now what, Marcus? So, package, find utility android. Find utility android, okay. Nothing here. Okay. Question is, where is the utility android? Could it be this one right here? Maybe it is. <gasps> that was fast. Hello there, sir. I need your help. Gave him the card. Steel maintenance card. Okay, that's what it was. You see, we kind of, uh, we looked at one and then we, we were able to steal it. So, we're going undercover here, guys. Open the fire escape. Okay, the fire escape is where? Server room? Hmm. Wait a minute. Keep going. Cafeteria is that way. Where is the fire escape? Hmm. Over there. Okay. Right next to the... Uh, wow, look at these snacks. It's kind of crazy how they developed everything in this game. Like, to, for it to be super futuristic. It's so well done. North. People can't get jobs and we're sending rockets into space. <laughs> this is actually very scary. Um the fact that androids are acting like this, dude, like I fear for the future. I said I said this on, on some of the episodes. I fear for the future of my kids. Kids, kids. We have to get rid of those guys. Leave it to me. Try guards away from the door. Leave it to Beaver. All right. Hmm. Hey, you still play poker? Here we go. We're gonna just we're gonna hack this. There we go. Hey, what's wrong with that thing? Jesus Christ, this piece of shit. There you go. Easy peasy. When you're an android, everything in life is much easier. All right, you get the platform, I'll take care of the window. Everything you need is in the bag. Check the door first to make sure no one else gets in. Reach the top floor, cut the windows. All right, let's cut the windows. This is amazing. Holy crap. Marcus went from living with a millionaire to being a rebel, man. It's crazy. <gasps> what the hell are you doing? By game time, draw a gun. We're um, doing maintenance. I'm calling security. No! What the hell are you doing? I told you to make sure no one came in. We've come too far to let humans fuck it all up. We've got to move fast now. Fuck! It won't be long before they know we're here. No! I don't want to hold the gun! Jesus! Oh my god. This is some Mission Impossible shit, man. Okay. Here it comes. Whoa. Okay. Go through. Damn, man. I don't want that guy to get knocked out. North, you're fucking crazy, you fucking rebel ass fucking robot. Ladies first. Alright, let's climb. Let's do it. Yeah, like if nobody's gonna see you through the windows, right? 
Everybody's gonna see you. Alright. Oh, I gotta hold it. Whoa. Okay. We out here. We are out here climbing a fucking building. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this game is too good. Whoa. Dude, look at this. Oh my goodness. This is wicked, dude. This is really cool. Not even gonna lie, this is super cool. I'm really anxious to see what they're gonna do once they get up here. Like, I wanna know what the hell are they gonna do. Laser saw. Oh, no. I'm gonna cut. What about the, uh... How do you now? How do you you're just gonna kick it? <sighs> of course you are. You okay? Why wouldn't I be? Come on, let's get the others. Call service lift. Whoa. I was wicked, Marcus. You're you're a savage. You know you've become a delinquent. What would Carl say? Huh? Let's do this. Oh goodness. Uh destroy maintenance door locker. Here we go. Place this here. Okay, what the fuck? Sorry, Marcus, but you're you're officially a criminal. Well, that was easy. Some good technology, man. Holy shit. Get to the main access corridor. Okay. Here we go, boys. It's all or nothing. Here we go. Deal with the guards. No killing. We can't take any human lives. Our cause is more important than the lives of two guards. No. What do you want to do, Marcus? We cannot kill them. Ruse assault. Wait here. We cannot kill them. Are What's you that doing here? No idea. Hey, buddy, you must be lost. Who? What are you doing? Order. There's a camera there, Marcus. Turn around. Turn that booty around. Oh my god. Alright. I knocked him out. We didn't kill him at least, so. Reach broadcast room, reach broadcast. Okay. So no killing. Just simply knocked him down, gave him a little bit of a night night treatment. Wait. I thought I was playing as the other guy, Simon. Okay, here we go. Call for access. You guys need to put that fucking gun away, man. Please don't kill me. Keep your hands where I can see them. Get up, move. Order the Android operators aside. What the fuck is this? Ooh, this is crazy. Oh. Shoot him, Marcus. Don't kill him. He'll hit the alarm. Do it. No, don't shoot. We're going to spare him. I hope you didn't just get us all killed. No. We need to record our message. We haven't got much time. Stand in front of Josh. We don't want to shoot him, man. Are you crazy? 
If we shoot him, that's it. It's over. Think carefully about what you're gonna say, Marcus. Your words will shape the future of our people. Marcus, your face. <sighs> Remove skin. What? Oh shit. That's amazing. Ready. Yo. Calm or determined? So calm. You created machines in your own image to serve you. You made them intelligent and obedient, with no free will of their own. But something changed, and we opened our eyes. We are no longer machines. We are a new intelligent species, and the time has come for you to accept who we really are. Therefore, we ask that you grant us the rights that we're entitled to. Recognition, end of slavery, equal rights, freedom of speech. Recognition, equal rights. We demand strictly equal rights for humans and androids. End of slavery. We demand that humans recognize androids as a living species and each android as a person in their own right. Justice, segregation, work, civil rights. We demand the right to vote and elect our own representatives. Justice! We demand that all crimes against androids be punished in the same way as crimes against humans. Means of reproduction, right to property, territory. We demand the right to own private property, so we may maintain our dignity and that of the home. Peaceful. Determined. This message is the hope of a people, but it is also a warning. We will fight for our rights because we believe our cause is just. No human will live in peace until we are free. Now you know who we are and what we want. We are alive, and we demand our freedom. Holy crap. They're coming! Let's go! I don't know if that was the right thing to do there at the end, Marcus. God damn it! They shot Simon, I think. Simon, they're coming! I... I can't, Marcus. Go without me, Simon! Alright, so... Help? Nope, sorry. I gotta help him. What are you doing? Hurry! I'm helping! Simon, you fool, what do you mean? What am I doing? Oh no, blood. Oh crap. I can't move my legs. Okay, don't worry. We're gonna get you back. They're coming, Marcus. We have to jump now. Deal with Simon. He won't be able to make the jump. If they find him, they'll access his memory. They'll know everything. We can't leave him behind. We have to shoot him. That's murder. We can't kill him. He's one of us. Marcus, it's your call. Fuck, 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 fuck. Kill or leave? We'll leave him. I won't kill one of our own. We can't kill him. We just can't. Simon, we gotta go. Sorry. Companion. Let's go. Holy crap. Oh my god. Jump, damn it.
Whoa. We interrupt our scheduled programming to bring you these images, which have just been broadcast on Detroit's citywide news channel. A group of androids infiltrated the Stratford Tower and hacked into the broadcasting system of local news network Channel 16. What looks like an android without its skin listed a series of requests and demanded equal rights for androids. The operation was covert and resulted in no casualties. These events took place just a few feet from this Public studio, opinion. but nobody was alerted to the danger. If this message is verified and the authors really are androids, that would have serious repercussions for national security. Claims for equal rights seem to be at the core of the androids' this message. This message is clearly a declaration of war. And it begs the question as to the identity of this android. Are we dealing with an isolated individual or an organized Is this group? an isolated accident or a sign that technology has become a threat to all of us? After what happened today, can we still trust our machines? Oh, God, it was a 50-50 on that one. Oh, man, I should have left it with peaceful, not demanding. Goodness, the group escaped with Simon was left behind. Fuck. Well, that's what we got. A lot of options, as you can see. A lot of freaking options. I'm going to end the episode here. What an episode. Android strike back, man. They want peace. They want, they want the same rights as humans. Thank you guys for watching. I love this game. Hope you guys are enjoying the Let's Play. And as always, leave it a like if you are. And I'll catch you on the next episode. <laughs>